Alright, welcome back. This is the iPod Guru. I'll show you how to downgrade your iPhone 2G from iOS 3.1.3 to iOS 1.0. Links will be in the description. First, you want to downgrade the download the kit and then open Red Snow. Identify the IPSW. Make sure it's iOS 3.1.2 right here. I can identify it. Oh, I have to identify it again. Now. Press next. Alright, and click unlock. Alright, and browse the bootloaders. Right here. Make sure you put them in the right area. Click next. And then you want to put your device in DFU mode. First, power the, the device off. Alright. And when it's off, you want to turn, press power to get the Apple logo. And then press home at the same time. And then just hold the home button. Until uh, we might open iTunes to show it, so it shows if we're all right. And we're in DFU mode. iTunes should pop up. You don't really want this. Go back to Reds now. Press next. Then it should say waiting for reboot. And now we're in the third stage. You just want to unplug the device. Plug it back in. This normally works. I don't know what's wrong with it. Um, try and plug it in again. Been waiting a bit. That's weird. Um, we'll be right back. All right, I just got uh, got a different version of that, and instead of waiting for reboot, no, it's actually doing it by itself. Um, so version. You went from 9.4, 9.3, and you don't, you just plug it in and it should work. It's gonna upload the RAM disk and it should be working. I'll put a little time lapse and then we should get back to iTunes 7. Since it's in the stage, do not touch it. It's going to be doing it by itself. Flush the bootloader and boot bomb. It's going to also unlock your phone. And we'll be back. As you can see, it's only 1.0. This is the second part of the video. 
to the far off. And now we're into the defined GFT mode. You will still be on iOS 3. This is a fixed video. So I'm going to post two parts, well, two different videos. One a full video and one half video. So I'll hold it down. Then you'll put in DFU mode. Just hold the home button. So it pops up. Now after you downgrade your bootloader, you should go straight to Windows Vista. This works best on Windows Vista, iTunes 7.5. And just turn the phone off. Since it's in here, I'm going to just do shift and I click restore. 1.0, open. All right, and then it's going to say it has been connected to factory settings. So we're going to wait for it to pop up on here. It might say incorrect sim. And then we can just pop up the iTunes. Go away, hop off of iTunes, open Z Phone, Z Phone GUI, advanced features, recovery mode, and put your phone in recovery mode, and then see if it's going to pop up here. Just want to minimize that. Uh, click off trail break, press activate and sim lock. Sim lock. Form actions. see the screen so it's a new phone but before I do that I'm actually gonna pop it in my Mac because this is so you but it is fully unlocked and then Back up. Um, you will not have a backup to restore from. I have because I used this three second like for just to test it out. And if you're watching this and it's a full tutorial, I'd like to thank you for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. And if you're just watching this to mm -hmm. fix the iLiberty Plus, um, make sure you do the same, but restore, do everything I said. Because if you don't and you just try to activate it, it's just, it's not going to work. It will 
like with your phone. All right, see you guys in the next, next video.